Hi everyone, it's Margaret with creativestampingwithmargaret.com. I'm here for uh, a short project for you. And I just love the Bath and Body Works small hand sanitizers. So I decided to make one that coordinated. This one is peach and mango. So I thought the uh, sweet as a peach and uh, the Euro Peach Designer Series paper would work perfectly to make this cute little holder. Uh, we had a team meeting recently and um, so each of the Playtime with Paper attendees, um, that's the uh, stamping team that I have, they each received one of these at their workstation. They're quick, easy, come together, great, and uh, just make a nice little presentation for the uh, hand sanitizers. Uh, the box design for this hand sanitizer comes from Erica Serwin at uh, Pink Buckaroo Designs. She uh, showcased this a few years ago. I've saved it and used it numerous times. Um, I have one that I designed myself, but I actually prefer this because you can see the hand sanitizer a little bit better in the gift. But if you do craft fairs, these are also perfect for craft fairs now that uh, things are getting back in the swing of things. I believe people are starting to look at uh, craft fairs again. So enough of my jabber, let me get on to the project at hand. And as you can tell, I have inky fingers. I've been stamping all afternoon and I can't seem to do it neatly. We'll put this to the side and we'll go over some of the items you'll need, um, just like all of my videos, I put on my site, creativestampingwithmargaret.com, all the measurements. So don't worry about trying to write down the measurements. I'm gonna go through them very quickly and um, you can just refer there to get those. For the base, I'm using the Pale Papaya cardstock. It's four and three quarters by three and three quarters. It is scored at one inch and two and three quarters on the short side. And then on the long side, I have scored it at one inch and two inches. Then for the uh, Euro Peach Designer Series paper, I have a panel that's two and five eighths inch by one and five eighths and then the coordinating strip that is one inch by six inches. And then I just have a scrap piece of paper that will stamp the peach and the leaves on. And I had already pre-cut a label out of a piece of basic white cardstock. And that is um, using the tailored, tailor-made tags dies. I've said this numerous times, but this is the best tag set that we have. I just love all the different sizes and the two shapes that we have. So, of course, you will need the Sweet as a Peach stamp set. Out of this, we're just using the peach and the leaves. We're using the peach dies, and there again, we're using the leaves die and the peach die. You'll need your cutting machine, a bone folder, some strong adhesive, glue dots, stamping dimensionals, the inks that I'm using. I'm using pale papaya, that's for the base of the peach, and then I'm using a sponge dauber to sponge around the side with the Calypso Coral. I'll show you how to do that. And then the sentiment I also stamped using the uh, Calypso Coral, and that is the Have a Peachy Day, and of course, that's from the stamp set as well. So the first thing let's do is assemble our box. Make sure you have your paper snips or some type of scissors. So we're gonna take and burnish along all of these fold score lines, 
and fold them just to make them a little bit easier to work with. And then we're gonna take the paper snips and on each side, we're gonna cut this center little panel. And I like to trim the edge just to take off a little bulk, even though that's not quite as critical for this type of a, a box, I still like to do that. It's just a good habit to get into. did not cut that very straight, but that's okay. It's gonna be hidden by that one by six band that goes around the side. So then we will fold in the angled sides and then that other comes on the outside. It will be like so. So I like to put a little of adhesive on the outside of those two center panels that we trim the sides up, and then we'll just hold this for a few seconds for that Tombow glue to take hold, to grab. It doesn't take very long. Now, on the inside piece, panels, flaps of the one that wraps around and forms our front, we put the adhesive so that it's up against the side and we just line this up and we'll hold that in place. And I did notice I did not trim that real good when I cut that. That was the area I said wasn't straight. We'll just trim that with our snips. Then as you see, the angles are the sides are angled above this front flat that uh, flap that creates our front. So what you will do is you will take the box and then just from the outside corner trim to the front of the box. You may have to trim that up a little and then we'll go on the inside and there again, trim that down. I needed to get a little bit longer paper snips, but I can go back and trim that up. There, that looks much better. Then the next thing we will do, let's go ahead and apply the designer series paper. So we'll put the panel on the inside. And we'll just slide that in and leave a little margin at the top. And it will be on each side as well. Press that in place. And then so th that we have this, the seam will be covered if you place this in front off to the side where you're going to place your peach. So what I like to do is sort of eyeball first do that and we'll press this around. Then I'm gonna go back, put a little adhesive and start placing that around that lower part. And it's all the way up against the edge, the bottom edge plus that edge that formed 
the front and sides of the box. There we have our box assembled. Let me just apply a little bit of pressure. I put a little bit too much adhesive there, but that's okay. That will be covering that with the peach once we get that cut but I do have just a scrap of paper here. I'm going to pull a little of that off there. And it dries clear, so that's not a problem. Next, we will take our peach stamp. We'll use Pell Papaya. Ink up your peach stamp. Then before you stamp, open your Calypso Coral and use a sponge dauber and just lightly sponge around the outside edge of your peach. You know how peaches have a little, a real peach has varying colors. That's what we're doing by using that. And then we'll stamp this. And one thing you'll notice, this stamp at first you're going to think oh it did not stamp good but as the ink sets on the paper it will come out and give a more uniform look but it's not going to be truly uniform just because this is one of the distinctive stamps so uh, don't think that you've done anything wrong there is the streak that's sort of leaves a white mark and then it is lighter in the center and around the edge but as it the ink soaks into the paper this will come through more and then we're going to take the stamp for the leaves we'll stamp the leaves using pear pizzazz and if you wanted you could take um, your marker of early espresso and darken the stem on that peach, but I opted not to. I did not think that was totally necessary. Then the next step will be for us to take and place, place our stamped images onto our stamping emboss. cut and emboss machine, put the dies down, and then we're going to put that, run that through our die cutting machine, and I have already pre-cut two just to keep this video moving, so there we have our peach. We have our leaves. Now we'll just quickly stamp that sentiment onto that label that we've made. And there again, I'm using the Calypso Coral for that. And you'll notice I'm stamping close to the right edge of the label so that I have room to place that under the peach. Now all we have to do is assemble the items and get this completed. And I found a glue dot holds this perfectly behind the peach because we're also going to be adding it with dimensionals. And I've sort of turned that peach at an angle. I just sort of lay that down. Yes, that gives me exactly where I want it. I put a glue dot on the leaves right where the stem sort of meets the leaves and just 
place that down on the peach where you would normally have it in the indented area. Then I found it was easiest just to put glue dots right on to the front of the box where the peach and the label are going to go. That made it a lot easier than trying to determine where on the peach they would go to line up. So then you just place those. There we have our box. Now, aren't those cute? And you saw how quickly, in 15 minutes, we pull, pulled those together. So, order yourself some of the hand sanitizers from Bath and Body Works or visit one of their stores or just find some other little hand sanitizers. But have fun making some of these. Have a peachy day peach mango hand sanitizer holders. Thanks. One last thing, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, check out all the dimensions at creativestampingwithmargaret.com and have a great rest of your day.